Imagine putting an offer on a house and you know exactly what the other bids are. That is what the Liberal government wants to see happen right across the country to try and cool this housing market. In Ontario, new regulations mean the selling process could become more transparent if the seller agrees. For how this will work, we're joined by real estate expert David Fleming. Good morning. Good morning, Emery. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Fill us in on, on what's the plan here. How will this work? Okay. Um, I mean, first of all, it's important to remember that the reason this has happened is because the federal government uh, is trying to introduce legislation that is going to conflict currently with provincial legislation. So, you know, real estate is expensive. We all know that. No one likes it. We've looked for somebody to blame or something to blame for a long time. Uh, we've gone through the motions. Foreign buyers were the culprit. It was interest rates. It's speculators. It's flippers. We have vacancy taxes now. We've looked at development charges in Toronto. So now it's come full circle and we're talking about the process and people believe that, you know, blind bidding has to be the issue. So the announcement yesterday was at the provincial level, and that is going to now allow sellers the option of having their listing agents disclose terms and conditions, which they weren't previously allowed to do. Okay, David, explain for me a scenario where mm -hmm. a seller would actually agree to this, because the blind bidding system, you know, causes houses to sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars over mm -hmm. asking, at least in this real estate market. It can. I mean, I, I think people really, truly want to believe, and you had mentioned in the intro, is it going to cool the market? It's not going to cool the market, but it'll make people feel more comfortable with the process. So you asked, show me a scenario where a seller would want that. If a seller believes that it's going to cost them money, I don't know of a seller that is going to go for that. But, you know, I'm on the sell side all the time. I honestly believe that maybe one out of 20 of my listings, I see one big bid that's ahead of the rest. But I'll give you an example. Last night, I had eight offers on a downtown Toronto condo. The winning bid was 865000 The next highest bid was eight fifty, and there was an eight forty six behind it. So if it was fully transparent and the eight forty six and the eight fifty knew they were bidding against eight sixty five, what's to say they wouldn't have bid it up beyond that? So careful what we wish for here. There will be scenarios in open bidding where properties sell for a whole lot more. It almost feels a little bit like an auction then. It, it could be. And, and, you know, you're opening the door to a question people ask, well, why don't we have uh, auctions? We've seen auction platforms in Toronto. They're completely unregulated. To be honest, I don't know why a buyer would take part in that where the word unregulated is bolded. You could be bidding against a Russian bot or, you know, 10 accounts made by the seller. Uh, we've talked about Australia. People say, well, we need their system. I mean, in 2022, to run out and stand on someone's lawn to yell prices, uh, people in Toronto are going to complain, I can't get the day off work, uh, my car broke down. But remember, remember, in Australia, those are not binding bids. You enter into further negotiations because there's no terms, there's no conditions, there's no closing dates, there's no inspections. It's simply about price. So, yeah. you know, careful what you wish for. The system we have right now, it, it works. David, for people who aren't familiar with the system mm -hmm. in Australia, can you explain what you're talking about? Yeah, I, I think people think that it's a simple auction where everyone just yells prices and then they yell sold. If you really look into that system, which I did in a blog post a few years ago, you'll see that you can bid or offer or negotiate on anything posted before it goes to auction. So people hate bully offers here in Toronto. That's effectively what that is. You also have reserve prices all over the place. It doesn't matter what someone bids if it's not up to the secret price that the seller wants. Then if you have someone that quote unquote wins an auction, what about the conditions? You enter into negotiations, slide off the auction floor and go sit at a table and you say, well, I want a week for inspection and I want to close in July. And the seller says, I'm not interested in that. Well, guess what? Your bid doesn't mean anything. It just goes right back out into the auction format. So, uh, again, every system is uh, better uh, from afar. But if you really sit down and look at it, they've all got their issues. David, in just in 10 seconds, will this achieve what they're saying it will, which is to cool the hot housing market? No. We have a supply issue. Everyone's tired of hearing that, but we have a massive deficit between supply and demand. Those are economic fundamentals, and you cannot work your way around that. I'm sorry for being the bearer of bad news. That's okay. You can't get any clearer than a simple no. David, thanks so much. No problem. Thanks for having me, Anne-Marie. All right. Up next, the president of the Métis delegation that will be meeting the Pope in person tomorrow.